My suggestion would be that since this is one that we worked in class, is that you uh, pause the video, read through it, come up with some of your own inequalities, try and solve it on your own, and then you can fast forward to the end of this and see if, if your conclusions were accurate. Okay, so let's just read through the problem. We have custom cars doing van conversions. And what I'm also noticing is that when I get down to the bottom of the um, problem, this is where I'm going to find my uh, profit or minimum cost. But this is where I'm going to find the, the variables that I need to use. How many conversions of each type? How many conversions of each type are there? Well, let's actually look at the different types. It says up here the custom conversion requires shop time and all these things, and the deluxe conversion. So I'm actually going to call them C and D. This will be custom conversion, and then this will be the deluxe conversion. So from here on, profit, objective function, the inequalities, restrictions, limitations, constraints, whatever you want to call them, they will contain C and D in it. So let's just go through and, and, and uh, see what we can find. All right, so I'm reading through the problem. The deluxe conversion requires 12 hours of shop time, 12 hours of painting time, an hour and a half of inspection time. So the whole thing's kind of based on time. There are 90 hours of shop time, 72 hours. So I'm seeing a lot of stuff about time. And the whole thing is, how are these things related to each other? Um, so let's just, how about if this? How about if we start just building a table? In fact, let's go ahead and just remove this C and D and see if we can. No, it's already locked in. Okay, so we'll just create a table from here. C and D. What are the differences between them? What do they require? Well, the custom conversion requires 15 hours of shop time, and the deluxe requires 12 hours of shop time. So they both take shop time. If I keep reading, they also both take paint, and then they also need to be inspected. So now we can just fill in some of the information. All I'm doing is building a table, writing down what I know. Custom requires 15 hours of shop time, takes eight hours of paint, and let's see, one hour of inspection. Uh, the deluxe version, which I'm calling D, requires 12 hours of shop time, 12 hours of paint, and an hour and a half to inspect. Now, that's pretty much all the information. I've got shop time accounted for, paint time, inspection time, 12 hours of shop, painting, inspection, good deal. And there are 90 hours of shop time. So that's kind of a limit. It doesn't say there's more than that. There are 90 hours of shop time. That's all they've got. So I'm limited. I'm limited. It could be exactly 90 hours. I mean, if I do no custom conversions and no deluxe conversions, I've used no shop time, I'm still fitting this constraint. It says there are 90 hours of shop time. So it could be that much. Paint time. 72 hours of paint time, so less than or equal to 72 hours. And then, what does that say? Oh, and then 10 hours of inspection time. So I've got a maximum of 10 hours. Now, I've accounted for the shop time, painting time, inspection time available during the coming two weeks. How many conversions of each type? should this company perform assuming that each okay here we go assuming that each conversion custom conversion gets me or gets us $175 of profit so for every custom so let's go back to the thing i put up here c really is the number of custom conversions And then here we have D, and what does D give us? D is going to be equal to the number of deluxes. So we're actually looking at a quantity, however many they can produce or take care of. 
So I know that my profit equation is going to be based on the number of customs and the number of deluxes. And that's the whole point of the inequalities. Let's pinpoint the, the C and the Ds that will give it to us. It says that each custom conversion results in $175 profit. So if I have a quantity of one of these, well, then I'll just have $175. If I have more than that, well, it'll be multiples of 175. So let's go back. Each deluxe conversion results in $225. And the question is, what is the profit? Which I'm just going to designate as P. P equals profit. Now I'm going to pause and drag in a graph. Actually, now it occurs to me that before we start dragging in a graph, we actually might want to come up with some of the equations that are relevant to our problem here. So let's drag this over here. And here I'm going to build the equations. I've already got this one. Now I want to build the shop equations. So let's take a look. All right, we've got 15C. So for however many custom versions they do, it's going to take 15 hours. And for every deluxe version, will take 12 hours and I have less than or equal to 90 hours. It takes 8 hours of paint time for every custom and 12 hours of paint time for every deluxe and I'm constrained by only having 72 hours of paint time available. Then we have 1 hour of inspection for every custom and one and a half hour I'm actually going to change that. Let's make that three halves. Uh, three halves. Where's my pen? There it is. Uh, three halves for every deluxe version, and that's going to be limited to 10. Now I've got my profit, so those are my equations. So let me see if I can. I want to clear up some space here. Okay. Well, I thought just using Desmos might make some more sense. So let's shrink this down and kind of pass it up here because I've already gleaned all the interesting or useful information out of it. Okay, and now I'm going to open this up and I've got my equations put in there. Sorry about that, that was an alarm. Okay. Now I can go in here and look for my critical points. Now this is just a screenshot so I can't turn the um, equations on and off, so you're going to have to work with me here. This point right here, that point is 0, 6. This point, if I had thought to let Desmos do it for me, oh, excuse me, this point right here is 6, 0, and if I had thought to let Desmos do it for me, I'm hoping that just by drawing this one in right here. This is another critical point and then of course zero zero is a critical point but of course there's no profit there. I think if you look at this one you can tell that this has an X value and in this case I'm using a uh, custom as an X. Let's go ahead and put that in. This is custom and I'm going to turn my iPad sideways and I'm going to write in over here that these are the deluxe, okay? Well, let's make sure I got that right. I think I do. Yeah, we'll run with it. I'm pretty sure I do. You know what, let's just go ahead and check uh, because you're probably curious yourself. Let's look at this line right there. That's an inequality and it crosses the x-axis at 10. Now, of these three equations, which one would probably cross at 10? How about this one, when y, when y, there we go, when y is zero, then x is 10. So that is, that is the light green equation, or light green inequality. And in this case, if I'm using this equation as a guide, then when x is 0, excuse me, when y is 0, 
then x would be 10. So let's go back to the initial part of our problem. And let me make sure I can do this. There we go. All right. So going back and reading the problem, there are 10 hours of inspection time. 10 hours of inspection time right there. And it specifically states that there is in the custom conversion, what do we say when, when y was zero? Well, what takes one and a half to make 10? Let's see, the, the custom conversion takes one hour of inspection time. Well, that would pretty much be our x value if y were zero. So I'm pretty comfortable suggesting at this, at this point that that is indeed custom. So I'm pretty happy with, uh, with all this. And now I can go back and let's, whoops, let's shrink all this down. And let's try and move one thing at a time. Jeez. Okay, and the lines are just going to stay with us, so there's just not a whole lot I can do about it. Okay, so I'm pretty content uh, looking at, at these equations at this point. Let me move this up just a shade. There we go. That is our custom axis and our deluxe axis. In any event, this is something above 2. I think from class, you'll probably remember that's about 2.57 something or another. But in any event, it is more than 2. It is some fraction. And on the y-axis, it's over here. That's like 4 point something or another. Those are fractions. And you can't have half of a van, and over here you can't have 4 point something of a van. So that coordinate really doesn't work. Um, so that's not a valid critical point. Just in a traditional math sense, sure, uh, we could make that work, um, but it's not going to work here. So let's look for the ones that will work. We know that we can have an individual custom van, two custom vans, three custom vans, four, five, six, so on and so forth. So if we go up here, we could have that one, and we could have that combination, one and two. All of these are in the feasible region because that's what feasible means. All these points will work. All these combinations of vans will work. And I can just plug all of these in. I could have uh, two custom vans and, and one deluxe, so on and so forth. So the points that I'm really going to be looking to test are going to be here, here, and so on. And they keep on coming down. These are all possibles. right on down to six zero. And I could test all of them, but I think at this point we've gotten so many of these under our belt that we realize we really only need to be testing uh, just a few of these. So I'm gonna bring back our, our equation. This is our profit equation. And I'm gonna bring that over here. And I'm gonna say that profits are going to be equal to 175 of the customs, that's our x-axis, and 225 of our deluxes. So now we can start building in all these combinations that we found, because each one of these combinations, that's 0, 6, this is 1, 5, we can't use this one, but we sure can use that one. That one's 2, 4. We can just forget about this. Because that doesn't work in the real world. This is 3, 3. 4, 2. So on and so forth. So I can just build all these in because the x-axis, as you know it, the x-axis is custom. So each one of these is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, and then the deluxes, or the D, that I've got right here, that's my y-axis. So six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. 
and I've already done the math. We did it in class as well. So this is our maximum. 225 times 6. Let me verify it on my TI-84 that doesn't want to work. So we'll go old school. 225 times 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. 2 times 6 is 12, and then 3 more makes it 15. So we carry the 1. 2 times 6 here is 12, plus 1 more gives me 1350. So that is my maximum profit. The communication part, I'll leave to you. Take care.